Hey everyone, Nova here. Honestly, this nano banana tutorial for cinematic image started by accident. My plan was simple. I just wanted to create a cool starting image for a project. But when I tried, I just kept failing. The results were random, and honestly, it was frustrating. So, I went deep. I started researching all the tutorials and digging into the structures that the real experts were using. And what I found changed everything. What I discovered worked so well that I had to share it. In my experience, these are the techniques that make all the difference, and I hope they'll can do the same for you. Okay, no more talk. Let's get started. Before we start prompting, the most important choice is your workspace. There are three options, and here's the fast breakdown. You've probably used the standard Gemini app. It's great for quick ideas, but it's too limited for real pro work. That's why for this tutorial, we'll be using Google AI Studio. It gives you access to the very latest models and is the perfect place for serious testing and prototyping. And for major commercial projects, the ultimate tool is Google Cloud Vertex AI. It offers full enterprise level control including configurable safety filters. First up, let's solve aspect ratios. You ask for a cinematic shot, but the AI gives you a square. The professional hack for this is the blank canvas lock. The concept is simple. You upload a blank canvas and then use a specific prompt structure to force the AI to fill that frame. This is far better than trying to expand a square image later, which causes bad compositions and weird seams. So, I just upload a 16 by 9 canvas with this prompt and ask Nano Banana to create moody traditional Japanese alleyway with rain-soaked cobblestones, and the result is a perfect cinematic frame. Now let's control the emotion of our shot. The pro technique for this is the relight and regrade. Instead of a vague paragraph, you give the AI a direct checklist starting with a power word like relight. This gives you predictable dramatic control over the mood. We can take our neutral scene and transform it to a warm golden hour, a tense film noir night, a vibrant cyberpunk street, or a mysterious ethereal morning. Same scene, completely different stories. What if you only want to change one specific thing in your scene? For that, you need a surgical tool. This is the draw to edit hack. Instead of text, you show the AI what to change by drawing on the image. To modify something, do the same thing but add a text cue. You're literally pointing at what you want to edit. Let's make that card stone. It's a game changer for removing distractions or changing materials. Last core technique, compositing. This is how you place one image into another. The pro hack is multi-image fusion, and it uses a direct prompt with the power word composite to perfectly merge your images. Here's the structure. You upload your character and your background, then use this powerful two-part prompt. Go beyond simple angles, true pros direct the lens. You can get incredible effects like background blur by telling the AI to shoot with a specific virtual lens. The hack is simple. Use professional camera terms directly in your prompt. Just know this works best when generating a new image. Speaking the language of cinematography is a simple vocabulary change that makes a world of difference. Nano Banana has a secret weapon. It's designed to remember your character by default. Within the same session, it will automatically preserve your character's facial features and key identity from one image to the next. To get rock-solid consistency, give the AI extra help. First, when you create your character, use unique details. Then, always re-upload your character's best photo as a reference for your next edits. And just a quick note, while Nano Banana is fast, the final output can sometimes be lower resolution. Always use a professional upscaler on your finished images. Thank you for watching, guys. Love you all, and I'll see you in the next one.